Vagfu, Volume 4 The Iliotrop Exodus Chapter 19 The Crimson Duffus <laughs> you didn't tell me it was so beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's a refuge that was made to save the Illetrop children. So, in a way, it's still a prison. And, um, in your children's refuge, weren't there supposed to be lots of children? Yes, it's strange. Something's off. Hop on, we'll look for them. Where do we start? This place is huge. Let's take some distance to get a better view. And just the hat! I see it! Some kind of air bubble! It's not an air bubble! It's pure Vakfu! You go! Look! What? Ad, this doesn't look good! Stay on your guard! Down there! It's the Iliacub! And the children are linked directly to this tree of Vakfu! Don't! Don't tell me they're dead! No, but I can barely feel their hearts beat! Calm down, they were put in a deep trance. And this tree that is linked to the Ilya Cube is producing the effect. There's another invisible wall! Yuga! No! <clears throat> we need to get out of here! Everything's getting darker! I lost my bearings! Same here! We're trapped! If they can't fall back, you know what's left to do, Ademai. Charge like brainless oops! Back to the center! <laughs> what is... <clears throat> Growy! Calm down, he's asleep like the children. Do you think you can hurl the blast back at the Ilya cube? I can try! I pull the blast into an entry portal! And they open one behind! Back to the center! Useless! We need to find something else! We need to regain control of the Ilya Cube! Can you do it? Hard to tell! I've only held it once! And it didn't go too well! But if anyone can do it, it's Ilya drops like us! Let's get as close as possible and try to grab it! I want to sit and watch! I can at least try to give you some time! There! Together! <sighs> All right, it's quieting down. Something's not right, Ad. Balthazar should be here. Let's free them, then we can look for him. He swore to protect the children. <gasps> the Ilya Coop opened the portal. Yes, to another dimension. You go! Uh? Tell me this isn't real. It's not you, Ed. Those are the six electro Duffus. Elsewhere in Jiva's domain. Dodge this. <laughs> I imagined many faucets in you, Jiva, but never a maternal sight. Dragons. So powerful, yet so ugly. Not unlike them, you have divine blood and the snake's tongue. You should feel a kinship with them. Now, let him go. You're getting a touch, Jiva. Don't forget your mission. I'm not forgetting anything. What brings you here? Nothing in particular. I simply came to check on you. How go our plans? Last I heard they had reached the Zenith. That is what you wanted, I believe. But since we're here voicing concerns, I'm not the only one who has a bargain to uphold. Guardian of little faith. Who can bring back your precious Algrud if not the daughter of the goddess in Ripsa? I can't see why you're smitten with him. He is sublime. It's his soul that is sublime. Love. It makes us lose our mind, doesn't it? Mortals and goddesses, we're all the same. But enough sentimentalism, even my power isn't enough to give you back your dear Algrud. I need the Elytrop Duffus. I remember. I am glad to hear it. When I was done you can give him to your human machinists. 
For now, we both need you to be the guardian you have always been. What about the Duffus? What will you do with them after this? What is it to you, as long as I don't hand them to Joel? We all have our projects. Well, that puts me at ease. See you very soon, dear Jiva. Oh, great.